Hey guys, what's up? It's John here from Tanger Gaming. Uh, welcome to a Photoshop tutorial on how to uh, remove the background of optical flares from your original picture. So here's a little bit of shameless self-promoting with a YouTube and Twitter account. So let's say you want to, I don't know, make it Minecraft related. So you're going to go to wherever your Minecraft pictures are. Steve with the diamond sword It's going to come over here open a new tab. You see here this is transparent. It's a uh, <clears throat> transparent file so you can just control C and then control V right on the picture and just him is going to come up. So he's just chilling here. He's like what up what up. Let's say we want him to be in the background. We just drag him down beneath Tantra Gaming so he's underneath of it and bam looks pretty cool. But you're like alright that looks pretty cool. I think I'm about done but you're like I want to add an optical flare. If you guys know an optical flare, if you guys don't know an op optical flares, I'm sorry. Um, I'll show you guys. It's pretty much like, I don't know, it kind of looks like stars and like, like here, here's, these are optical flares. They're all opti different optical flares. So if you want to add a little like pizzazz to it, like this one, this one's like kind of an extreme optical flare. You're going to do the same exact thing with your square box tool and drag, oh, I missed part of it. Let me do that again. I'm sorry. Control C, come back, control B. And then bam, it's on top of everything. You could just put it under, like over under here, so it's like pretty much your background. All right, I don't know why that's not working. We can put that up there, and then it's like that. But let's say you want to keep your background and you just want to keep like the lights and not like the black of it. You can just click on your layer that is that, and you want to just go to normal, click on it, and you want to go to screen. Now blend in with the screen then, and it's just going to be the light. You can move the light over to wherever you want. Unfortunately, uh, this one is kind of bright, so you can see the difference. But if you were going to lighten, that'll fix that up a little bit. Yeah, that fixes it up completely on this one. So you pretty much can't see anything except the light. So you can put the light like wherever you want. Let's say you want it like to underline the YouTube. Looks pretty cool right there. Nice optical flare. And that's how you do it. It's pretty simple. You just go over to where it says uh, normal and you go either to screen or lighten, whichever works for that optical flare. If you don't have any optical flares and want to get some, just search on YouTube for, I don't know, optical flares GFX pack. And I'm sure one will come up. You can just download it and use it to uh, Photoshop. So if this helped at all, if you could leave a like, a comment if you want to see more tutorials like this. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.